Everyone's very excited for the vice presidential debate already. I'm in my Mr. Rogers sweater, because it's going to be a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Mike Pence's press secretary, Katie Miller, had the nerve to mock Kamala Harris for wanting plexiglass barriers. But excuse me, didn't isn't Mike, shouldn't Mike Pence be like in a in a different room? I mean, wasn't he exposed off also? <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm crazy, but the Pence camp eventually agreed, probably because uh, Miller can't be there tonight, because her husband, Stephen, tested positive. So what are you expecting this evening, Anna? Well, I'm expecting to see some plexiglass, <laughs> but in a, you know, I, I I I think this entire discussion about the plexiglass is so silly. Of course, they should take every measure. The White House is COVID central. 24 people surrounding yeah. Trump have now tested positive. Well, let me correct that. 23 people and Stephen Miller have tested positive for COVID. <laughs> so of course, we should take every measure to protect. Everybody that's going to be there. That being said, I'll tell you what I'm interested in. I'm interested in seeing the first black woman candidate for vice president debate tonight. It is a historical moment. Mm -hmm. It is a moment of representation. It is a moment which got, has a lot of us feeling like proud girls and proud women. I saw a picture today <laughs> on uh, social media that gave me life this morning, and it was the sororities the Divine Nine, and of course, Sonny has taught us all about this, and they've, <laughs> they've staged this picture, stroll to the polls. Look, if I could squeeze myself into a pencil skirt and a pair of stilettos, I'd ask for honorary membership. But I want to hear issues, and I want to celebrate the historical moment, and I want to see a lot of plexiglass. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Do you think a lot of people will think the vice presidential debate matters all that much? I think it does. I think they always matter because you want to know who's going to be making these decisions. What do you think, Son? Oh, I think this time, Whoopi, it, it matters probably uh, more than it's mattered in a really long time because uh, Vice President Pence uh, was is the head of the coronavirus task force, and I think he has to defend yeah. uh, the Trump administration's record. I mean, he couldn't protect the president uh, from the coronavirus. Twenty, as Anna said, twenty-four people uh, related to the White House uh, have the coronavirus, and so I, I need to hear why he thinks that he should be remain in the position of the vice presidency when they have failed miserably to not only protect the country but protect the president from the coronavirus. And so right. I, I think that uh, yeah. should be issue number one uh, during this debate. And I, I share um, Anna's enthusiasm. You know, uh, Kamala Harris and I belong to the same sorority. And so I'll be strolling to the polls uh, with my uh, AKA T-shirt on. And I, I'm just, I, I'm thrilled because I do think it's a historic moment. But the, mo the most important thing are the issues. And I think issue number one is the fact that the president is it sitting in the Oval Office, I hear, uh, you know, possibly infecting uh, the, the, the White House staff and the butlers and, and, and the, the housekeepers, the majority right. of who are older black and Latino uh, folks, um, and, and he's got to defend his record. Right. And right. so you think well, you know, uh, that Kamala has to be careful tonight, Joy? Is that what you said? Well, she... Only because she's so smart and so much smarter than him, you know. You, you can't have a woman look so much smarter than a man out there. They get very upset. You can just hear it on Fox after the debate. <laughs> she was shrill. She was aggressive, all that crap. But um, Pence has to defend the indefensible. The economy is toast. Um, the pandemic response is a horror. Trump is a tax cheat who mocks the, the military. I think she should just lean over the plexiglass and say... Heck of a job, brown nose. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yes, if you, it's a, it's a callback to Brownie from many yes. years ago. But wait, anyway, one more thing. What you, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's your birthday. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's my birthday. 
No, I was thinking like, uh, you know, yeah. like, <laughs> not just for associating, but it's like, you know, like, let's say Madame Curie, she's on a date with a guy and she goes, uh, look, I'm discovering radium. What about you? What are you doing today? I mean, this is the situation that Kamala <laughs> is facing with Pence. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she has to very be very nice. careful. Uh, what, what are your thoughts <laughs> about this, Sarah? What are you, what are you uh, looking for tonight? Well, I was asking myself that earlier. Like, why am I watching the debate tonight? Because I fully know who I'm voting for. But I'm really looking for a robust debate, conversation, policy, substance, things we didn't get with the presidential mm. debate last week. Because I'm hoping it will infuse some enthusiasm. Anna talked about that enthusiasm gap last week. And I think people are getting hit from every side with the pandemic, the racial re reckoning, mistrust in institutions, you name it, it goes on and on and on. Whereas that makes me want to race to the polls, I think it can also discourage people and, and make them wonder, like, does my vote even matter? So although I don't think tonight will be a decision as to who someone's voting for, it might decide whether they vote at all. Well, I, let, let's say to people, listen, you, the right to not vote at all seems like a, a foolish choice for anyone to make. If you want change, if you want things to change, you have to get out and you have to do it. And what I want for this for tonight, because I always want to know who's in line, who's the next person in line to really look after us if something should, God forbid, happen. I want to see how they talk, but I already know, like you do, where I'm leaning. But I will tell you, I'm really angry that Mike Pence didn't say, you know what, let's make sure that we do do this, but I should be quarantining. Because we know that this tends to eat black and brown people more than anybody else. So I really want her protected. I want her to be protected. And I wanted him to step up and say, you know what, because I do care about you, I'm not going to come out. But what about the other people who are out there with him? Why is he there? I get it, they didn't want to change it, but he should be in quarantine, like people are made to do when they are out and they've been exposed. This is what people do, they go into quarantine. Why is this okay? Because we're living in cuckoo crazy time right now. 